Are you hungry? You want some food? Alright. Here we go. Gonna feed the Buffy. There you go. You're welcome. What? This crap again? So I have a few things to do today. Uh, my appointment for today canceled. This must totally be the month of cancellations and uh, not doing what you say that you're gonna do. So um, it, it kind of works out. I'm gonna head over to uh, mom and dad's and uh, spend some time with them, change the oil on their car. So this angle is not flattering. It's probably looking at my nose and I should have learned how to do this in the eight years that I've been doing this. The light's behind me, not in front of me. I know that's horrible. Hi Buffy. Here's Buffy. Say hi. Hi Buffy. I wanted to open these before I forget. So uh, Scarret badges. I'm, I'm curious about this because there's something in the envelope. So I don't know if this is like a uh, promo item. I have no idea. Buffy sure is getting her smell on with it though. So we are going to cut the plastic, open the plastic, look at badges. There's a plastic bag. There's stuff inside the plastic bag. I'm opening the plastic bag and we have, ooh. Oh, merit badges, I get it. That's awesome. Thumbs up or thumbs down, you see? Because I looked at it and I'm like, I originally pulled it out and I'm look, I looked at it like this. I'm like, oh, why did you give the thumbs down? It's like, oh, it's a thumbs up. Awesome, cool. For haunters and horror fans. That's great. Well, thank you. And here is a Halloween card. This one here is from Witch's Hollow. Ooh, spooky. All right, so while you guys focus on that, I will open it up and it's Halloween. Hope it's absolutely spooktacular. And it's from Witch's Hollow, so thank you so very much for that. I wanna save your address because you got the address on the card. Ooh, I didn't butcher it too bad. Um, I'm gonna send you a pumpkin card. I'm gonna send you a Halloween card. Uh, we have three, so I will have to go out and get some more. I thought that I had more, but I did not. So we'll go out and get some more. And uh, I will start sending out uh, pumpkin cards as I get them. On to the next thing. I just want to make sure I did this really quick because I hadn't done it yet. So there we go. Now it's done. Now we can move on with our day. Well, so the bamboo update, this one here is dead. <laughs> but you have to expect some carnage when you go and cut the things with a sawzall. But look, we have a new baby sprout right there. And I don't see any baby sprouts on this one. Oh, yeah, I do. Look, there's one right there. That one just broke through. And then over here, there's three. There's three little baby shoots. And over here, I didn't see any. This one here seems to be doing okay, I guess. This one here is, is dead. This one here died. But uh, yeah, they're doing okay, I think. That's awesome. So happy. And uh, this is what we did with the uh, the vines. I just kind of threw them up on the, on the window there. I wanna take all the pumpkins, all of them that we have, and I'm gonna put them all out here. Uh, I'd say eventually, I mean, obviously, considering there are things that are much more important to do right now. So speaking of that, oh, I got to get a label. I got to go back inside for one thing, and then we're going to be going to mom and dad's. Well, that's pretty. The contrast of the sun through the orange and red and green trees with the dark clouds in the background. Wow. It's a pretty time of year. That truck is overloaded with pallets. Pallets, pallets, pallets. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm not sure if you guys can tell or not, but it's been just a couple of days and these leaves have totally started to change. So it's gonna be getting pretty pretty through there. Oh, here's something I'm excited about. You guys remember that gourd that was at my parents' house? That pumpkin, I thought that I thought it was a pumpkin plant that was just growing, you know, in the compost there. We're gonna to get to see, possibly, maybe, I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen it, so I don't even know if it's still there, but we're gonna to get to see if it had any fruit so that we're able to identify it. Was it a pumpkin? Was it a watermelon? Was it a zucchini, a gourd? Who knows, or well, you know, what, what kind of gourd was it? What kind of gourd was it? Oh, and those trees are pretty too. They're gonna to be Bob Ross trees soon. And, and this right here is Panther Lake Elementary School. I never used to go here, but I used to play t-ball right out in those fields out there. Yeah, I said t-ball. Oh, dang it. We're never going to be able to figure out what it was. It looks like it was eaten by the goats. We will never know. Oh, so depressing. 
Hey, there's another little tidbit of information way up there. Like that tree, that V's right there, my clubhouse used to sit just to the left of that. And up there is a Tonka truck, one of the old metal Tonka trucks. Buried. <laughs> That's something I remember. Oh man. Nothing like home, and it's weird. I was born and raised in this house. That's just, that's, that's crazy. Okay, anyway, let's get inside. I'm very happy. This is like the first Halloween thing that I've seen. Well, actually, no, I lied. I, I take that back. That, it's the second thing. So the first thing, look, mom got it. <laughs> that makes me so happy. And mom's gonna get another one. You're gonna get a white one? I'm gonna get, I might get another black one. Mm. Maybe, maybe too black, too white. <laughs> so, coffee time. Story happy. And mm -hmm. shopping bags are fantastic. Oh yeah. Mom was the first one to get one of the Hellmouth shopping bags, which ah. I want to give the shameful plug right here is that there's 15% off on everything on our Spreadshirt <laughs> site right now. So Shameless go to, plug. I know, oh, I know. So go down the description down below, click on show more, and go down there and get your Hellmouth merch. I think it runs the 10th, 11th, and 12th, maybe the 13th. Um, and if you want the link, you can also go to the Hellmouth Hellion Facebook page, and I've posted it all over there, too. you got to get right. a picture of Dad. You got me on my mind. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm going to go for a walk. Is that okay? You want to come with me? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Angie would be so happy. Look. It's goats. <laughs> This is the beginning of what is called the Seuss Creek Trail. This is all fairly new, and by new, I mean this wasn't here when I went to school here. <laughs> My uh, junior high, which is now middle school, is right over there. This is a, just a bunch of uh, wetland underneath uh, power wires that, uh... oh, and spiders. Urgh. Anyway, it's just a bunch of uh, wetland that they've put a very easy walkable path through on. And there's cattails out there. And no, I'm not going to go out there and uh, try to get closer to them because it's wet. I know this now. <laughs> Look, it's more goats. Wow. More goats and a very long, straight, flat trail. Most of the time on these trails, we see like trees and brush and roots and rocks. Now we see power lines and concrete and goats. All right, this right here brings back a couple memories because this pond, that's right back there that you guys can see, that little pond right there and this hill right here, none of this used to be here. Obviously, this used to be all dirt. Um, kids on their motorbikes would come down here and right, right. Right, right. You go up the hill there. Um, we would walk down this dirt path up there, down to here, and it's just changed so much. I mean, it used to be all dirt in here. It used to be like moguls and stuff, and oh, it was so cool. Now, there's just a path, just a path. No more dirt bikes. Can't even get to the lake over there unless you walk off the beaten path. They've got this path right here far away from it it's not even really a lake but there used to be like a little waterfall up there kind of kind of like where the stream goes down have you guys ever done that before have you went and like visited like your childhood home or places that uh that you used to frequent when you were a kid and this trail is actually um about six miles long. I'm not doing the whole trail today, but uh, maybe Angie and I will do it one time. It's, it's an easy trail, so it's, I mean, it's nice, but it's an easy trail. <laughs> Look at that strapping young lad there. That's my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you see the resemblance? I'm not sure if they can see this or not. Hold on. Okay, there you go. There. <laughs> so you graduated in 1962? Yeah. Wow, it's funny. Everybody's got like the same dress. So like all the guys have white with bow tie, white with bow tie, white yeah. with bow tie. I mean, granted they could have been color because they're black and white, but you know, it says you transferred from Weatherly High School. Yeah, Pennsylvania. 
This guy was so squirrely. He looked squirrely and he <laughs> was squirrely. This was my sidekick. Right. Oh my gosh, do you know who he looks like? Mm -hmm. He looks like the guy from uh, Children of the Corn. Malachi. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's really cool that you guys had annuals back then. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, we, we had one too, but, I mean, for 62 and even 1960 down there too, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it took so much more work to do this yeah. than it does now. Yeah. See, look, they advertise ditch day too. We would have never have allowed. Did you have a ditch day? Yeah, yeah. I, I had perfect attendance in all of junior high and all of high school except for senior ditch day. You didn't go? I didn't go to school on senior ditch day. I, I, oh. I did it. You ditched it. <laughs> mm -hmm, I did. He was a military uh, coach. Mm. I'm not sure what branch he was in, but God, we had to be like little soldiers. Oh, so the, the annuals must have come out quite a while after you guys, because this is your graduation ceremony, right? Yeah, it should be. When is the little police force? Hmm. Where's... I don't have my glasses on. Oh. I think that's him there. What, did you know the police officers fairly well, Dad? <laughs> a couple of them. Oh. Yeah, this here's the guy that gave me all oh, trouble. <laughs> He'd even see me say what I was like, doing and stuff. Just like he was waiting for me to screw up. <laughs> With me finding or going through dad's yearbooks, I also found this right here that mom has started or started to fill out at one time. This is a picture of me. I was Phoenix's age, five and a half years old with my messy hair. <laughs> but under comments, I had fun while at play in kindergarten. It was like one big play day. I liked the play, but not the work. <laughs> my friend Rocky, that was his name. Mm -hmm. And I had some friend ghosts at school. My teacher asked them not to say any more about them at school because it was scaring the other children. For Halloween, they were going to carve pumpkins at school, but I got sick and mom had to pick me up and I never got to carve it because I was so excited about Halloween. You mm. were, you would get so excited. <sighs> and you missed a Valentine party once because you were excited. Wow. About the party. Oh, wow. But see, even back then I was still... I still loved Halloween. You did. Yeah, I, I just always loved Halloween. Yeah. Wow. And my favorite book was A Woggle of Witches. Wow, I didn't realize that I liked that book. So. You loved it. So no, so I thought it was like maybe in when I got into grade school, not kindergarten. No, you loved that book. Wow, that's awesome. You used to check it out all the time, every chance you'd find it. <laughs> Those cloud formations are awesome. Look at that. Look at it. There are uh, clouds on left and right, on the left and right side of the freeway, that are lit up by the city street lights, and it just looks kind of eerie and spooky and Halloweeny. All right, guys. I know this is the second night in the road that I'm not doing COC, um, but it's one o'clock in the morning. I have to go to bed. Everything's edited up till this point, so we'll just catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Um, for watching and for all of your guys' positive comments um, from yesterday and the, and the day before that too, but specifically yesterday. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys like today and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Happy awning. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> good day. <laughs> from Spookery Castle in Cincinnati, Ohio, Happy Haunting!